start talking? Yeah, let's go for it. Hey, this is Anthony. <laughs> Hi. I, Anthony Familetti here. I ran a steeplechase tonight at Duke Twilight Meet in uh, Durham, North Carolina. And I had a pacemaker for the first two laps of the race. He was supposed to go three, but his water jumps weren't, weren't that great today. But, uh, you know, I didn't feel 100%. Going to the race, I ran kind of a harder workout last weekend, and I'm still in a development phase, really. I'm kind of a month or, or more behind schedule where I'd normally be this time of year. In the past, I'd run like 824 to 821 in May, but then in Europe, I'd only run about 819 at the end of the summer, so I really wouldn't develop time-wise in the steeple, even though my fitness was always there. So I've tried something new this year where I'd kind of develop a little bit slower and peak at the right time, and then use that to carry over into the Olympic trials and Olympic games and really rock and roll. Uh, I should have gotten much faster than I did tonight. And I think sometimes when you don't have anyone in front of you, you can't hear anyone behind you, uh, it's really hard to push and be aggressive, especially in a steeplechase. So, uh, you know, I didn't run any, anywhere near what I wanted to or my fitness is tonight, but I'm still kind of happy. I'm disappointed I missed the track record by like, fraction of a second. You know? and I didn't kick until the last water jump. Normally I'd kick 400 to go or 300 to go. But that's just, uh, you know, it's only my third steeplechase in two years. I've been away from the event for so long. And um, in the past, I'd go out and run 825 solo, but that's after have, having run race after race after race after race being race sharp. So I'm just getting back into racing again. I haven't really cut my teeth with any real competition just yet. So um, that'll come pretty soon. I'm getting into my final development phase the next four weeks, and I'm going to rock and roll. But um, to even be able to run steeplechase, be able to do it again when I didn't have that ability <laughs> or even run again when I thought my running ability was gone for good even recreationally to have fought from zero to where I'm at now is amazing so it's just another few more steps to get where I was and beyond in 2008 and so I'm right there my workouts are where they were in 08 some of them even faster so it's just a matter of um, making it happen on race day but it's it's awesome to you know meet young steeplechasers when I come out now who I've inspired to start steepling, and they're inspiring me to go faster and keep at it. And there's going to be some you know, fast times for me this year and next year. So patience, if, if I have one message to anyone who's either beginning or in a phase of their you know, running career where things may get a little rocky, or you're trying to make a breakthrough, you have to be patient. People have certain ideas of who you are as a runner, or what their expectations are for you. And you need to be true to yourself and not doubt your ability and have full confidence, and you're going to run phenomenally fast. And it takes time. It took me 10 years to get to where I was in 2008, even more than that, really. 15 years of running, 10 years of professional running, really, 8 to 10. And so to be at the Olympic level, to really where you want to be a medal, you know, Meb's like, what, 37 years old now. It takes that amount of time to get to that level and develop like that. So patience.